like that against Colorado. I remember Bobby Dudes, everybody knows him, Bobby. He's a uh, current um, part time coach for us now that has authored five and a five books. Oh, yes. And uh, he begged me to go to Ted and say, please don't let him fire us. Bobby, if they want to do it, they're going to do it. Because we knew what we had. It took us four years to get you know, a decent team on the field. Uh, and uh, we just knew that if they did anything at all during the winter to help the team, we'd have a chance of winning. We talk about Lemke and Blouser. They weren't blessed with a lot of talent, but boy, could they help you win. Uh, any possibility you're going to wind up behind uh, one of these things? No. Well, we're going to leave that to the professionals. Tommy Glavin and John Smokes are excellent at this, and they could go as far as Wagner came in, held them on the 10th, and a uh, kid that hadn't been hit at all, Nate McLeod, hits one out. He had a split hanging from Contreras, and game over. That's one of the most exciting endings that we've had. I thought it was one you diagram very well. <laughs> yeah, had a lot to do with that. It was called Death Valley out there, man. I, I, it got me in trouble. <laughs> I could hit the ball 400 feet, normal home run out there. It was a can of corn. But I, re I remember, you know, our clubhouse was the same one that Dave and and Gary and all those guys used, and they had the same safe where you'd put your valuables. When you came in, you'd put your wallet, your rings, your watches in a little box with your number on it. And those little holes in there that you pull them out with were all, we've got a lot of support. Like a lot of cities, you know, when, you know, people would rather go to a, a basketball game or watch football. This has always been football territory, and I don't think, you know, that'll ever change. But they certainly have supported the Braves. We draw have drawn well over three million several times.